This presentation will hopefully give you a brief overview of the benefits with the light version of our horizontal connection systems. The system should accommodate the vast majority of subsea connections, whereas the basic HCS is designed for more demanding sizes and interface loads. The following video should provide an understanding of the basic principles of how the HS HSCSL works. porch is simplified to constitute a single stiff plate with bottom and top fixation to react interfacing loads and bending moments from the connected line. A floating version to accommodate inboard pipe expansion is also available by replacing some of the modular components. This design will benefit parent structure weight and footprint. In the case of a manifold, with several connections. The slim design, driven by the clamp connector only, will also be attractive for inline tees and flats, where the overall installation width is important due to installation vessel restrictions. The outboard termination landing structure may either be integrated with same host structure as the inboard porch, or on a separate foundation structure to facilitate inboard structure recovery with wet parking of the outboard termination. The outboard termination itself consists of two axially displaceable sections. The outer section contains a cylindrical guide with the stroke interface at top and a landing saddle which is designed to align and rigidly sit on the landing beam without the need of any lock devices. The outer section also includes the guide funnel for guide post initial guiding. The outer section is as such stationary locked to the landing beam during all phases. The inner section constitute the end termination of the line to be connected. During installation, the inner section is locked to the outer section. The hub is fixed to the front plate, similar to the porch plate, which, cons which contains the cylinder interface at top and the alignment spears located below the hub. The inner section contains a barrel that will transfer loads of the land out and during stroke operation and also facilitate uh, required guiding. During installation, the uh, system allows a rather large uh, capture range. Uh, on the left side, we can see the capture range in the horizontal plane, which is uh, 40 degree, 
and to the right we can see a cross section through the system where we can see how the termination will interface the landing beam and be locked uh, to the landing beam uh, when it's relaxed. This slide shows the, uh, uh, the system after the connection has been made up. The stroke cylinder has been removed. To the upper right, you can see the interfaces for the cylinder. To the right, how the cylinder react on the top of the outer barrel, down to the landing beam. And uh, the other, uh, the interface for the cylinder to the front plate that is stroked forward to the inboard side. Also, we can see the clamp transfer feature that can be operated by an ROV to decide what side of the uh, system the clamp connector should be uh, locked uh, before the system is separated. So the highlights of the system is that it is optimized for operational simplicity. By, for instance, the pre-installation of the stroke cylinder. It's optimized for minimum space requirements at the inboard side. It's optimized for flexible lines and the billicle. It may also be used for rigid spools, PLRs and end caps. It provides a large installation tolerance to facilitate flexible line applications. Also, it contains the ROV-operated clamp transfer between the inboard and outboard side. Uh, also, the system is based on uh, machining and bolting, so no welding uh, is included. Uh, also, a dedicated second and yoke-based installation tool is available. It may also accept uh, an insulated uh, system with the clamp connector heat bank. And it's available in three various sizes to cover uh, pipe sizes from 4 to 18 inch maximum. 